Hello guys. In this video I'm going to upgrade this uh, Lenovo A57. Uh, let me just uh, give you a quick rundown of the specs. It has an E2200 2.2 GHz CPU, 2 gigs of RAM and uh, it's not shown here but it has a 160 gigs hard drive. Uh, these are the parts needed. An E5500 CPU, it's 2.8 GHz, some thermal compound, uh, 2 gigs of RAM and one, uh, sorry, 500 gigs hard drive. This is uh, an old sock, you we will need it to clean the heatsink and some alcohol. Uh, you should use something that you will throw away la later because uh, you can't really clean uh, the thermal compound uh, off of this. So, one use only, actually. Or uh, a few uses uh, and then throw it away. So, this is about it. Let's, uh, it's already on its side because it's way easier to work uh, on it like this. Uh, if it's uh, not closed here with anything, you just push on this. And hopefully, kind of hard to do with only one hand. Actually, it's impossible this time. Yeah, sorry about that. I will pause for a second. Back. I've loosened it a little bit. You basically push on it and push this uh, whole thing away. It is off. Let me just put it uh, down. Uh, and uh, yeah, you should uh, of course uh, close the PC. I just exited the BIOS and it is shut down. Of course, take everything out before uh, working on it. If I could actually do these things with one hand, that would be great. So, yeah, unplug the hard drive. Uh, be careful with this because usually they uh, get pretty stuck so you have to wiggle them around oh, of course idiot me this one has a latch most of them don't have latches but this one has so I could have wiggled until tomorrow and nothing would happen this one doesn't have a latch for sure so it's out and uh, yeah that's the hard drive Push on this, pull it like that, and then lift it up. Hard drive is ready for upgrade. Pull on this. With one hand, of course, it will be pretty, pretty hard because you actually need to. You can see there are latches on each side, so those have to come out. Okay, actually we got more than we wanted, but I will put that back uh, in a second. Let me just put this aside. Of course, let's continue. The memory we will not take out because we are just adding, not uh, changing. And for the CPU you need to undo four screws in the corner. You can see them in the corners, not the black ones from here, the ones from the holes. Uh, you should undo them in uh, a cross pattern, never on the side and never totally just one. So one by one in a cross, but just a little bit until you undo everything and take it out. But I will do that off camera because I'm sure something else will go wrong if I don't do it like that. The heatsink is out, also took uh, out the fan, and yeah, it's pretty dirty, I will clean it after this upgrade, I don't uh, really uh, do 
it inside so I have to go outside and clean it so yeah not at this point uh, unlock that clip this up of course ground yourself onto something before doing this actually discharge not really ground and then you just pick up the CPU be careful not to drop it Put it somewhere else, put in the new CPU, it has some uh, uh, cuts on the sides, so be careful to align them with the uh, socket, as this CPU will only go in one way, and then you actually do the same thing in reverse. So this is the CPU upgrade done. Now off camera I will clean this, uh, put some thermal paste, a little bit of that, just uh, a tiny drop in the middle, it will spread by itself, uh, it's worse to put too much than too little, and uh, yeah, the hard drives, let me just try and show you, okay, this is out, uh, this comes out, you just pull on the sides, and you have to put it on the new hard drive. I will show you in a second. Let me just pause the video. Yeah. My camera decided to flip the image. Okay. You take out the sides. A little bit of force is needed, but you cannot do anything about that. You can see it has uh, these pins that go in the holes from the hard drive. Let me try and show you. Okay, this was already in. And these ones will be probably a little bit harder. Of course, uh, this is not meant to be done with only one hand. Okay, everything is in. Now we can put back the hard drive in the cage and then we will continue. And let me just clean this. The heatsink is clean, hard drive is back in the cage and there is just a tiny bit of uh, thermal compound on the CPU. You don't want uh, more than that. So I will put the heat sink in now. It's uh, the reverse process. I will tighten the four screws uh, in across one by one, slowly. The cooler is in. Don't forget to plug in the fan in the motherboard header. Pretty annoying to do. But it's in. Let's put back the hard drive. It has uh, these two things that uh, need to go in these holes. So let me just try and show you how. If I could manage to fit them, they are in. It is turning. Remove the wires from underneath it. I really must buy a tripod for this sort of work. It's kind of annoying. Okay. This should latch. Okay, it's latched. Actually, no. Why is it not latching? Oh, of course. On this side, there are two metal cuts. They have to go over this metal. If not, it will not latch. So be careful for, for that. Uh, as you can see, this is the first time I'm I'm working on uh, this PC. So I do not really know every single point where it has to latch onto something. But at least like this, I find them all and uh, tell you about them. 
put back the hard drive connections and actually now we have to upgrade the memory align the notch on the memory with the one from the motherboard of course this should be in the open position so be careful for that This is pretty annoying because uh, this PC has tons of wires inside, all sorts of uh, sensors and buttons. After you are sure the memory is in the correct position, you start pushing on the, the ends until it clicks. One end clicked. Sometimes, sadly, you have to push pretty hard on it, but you can't do anything about that. Okay, the memory is in, CPU in, hard drive in, that's about it. Uh, for the graphics card, because the PSU is uh, pretty low power on this one, it is only 264 watts, you can only put uh, a graphics card that is under 75 watts. Uh, that means it doesn't have to need any other connections, power connections. So it will take the power only from the PCI Express uh, slot. There are some decent cards under, under 75 watts, but not too many. Uh, HD7750, uh, if I remember, it's, it's the best one under 75 watts so yeah it can be it doesn't matter how big it is you you have room here but no more than 75 watts that is extremely important because uh, this PCU will not handle anything else so uh, next thing and I'm sure this will also be a pain to put back Because why wouldn't it be? But you should know if you ever made a video or you are filming, nothing goes right. This has some uh, metal, uh, uh, metal, I don't know how to call them, metal things that have to, to go in a certain point uh, on, in the case. So if those are not aligned, it will not close, do not push on it, you will break it. But I'm sure I cannot align it with one hand, so yeah, pause. Okay, they are in, and cl uh, closing is uh, just like this. It is closed. And now I will plug in video and power. And let's see what we did. And everything is working and we're in the BIOS. You can see the 4 gigs of RAM, the new CPU E5500 at 2.8 GHz. And uh, I don't know if I told you, when upgrading the CPU, you should have the latest uh, BIOS version, because sometimes newer CPUs do not work with older BIOSes. So upgrade that before uh, trying the new CPU, because if not, you will have to put back the old CPU, upgrade it, and then put the new one again. So that would suck. Now it's time to make some noise on my desk. So guys, uh, this is the upgrade. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. Thanks and bye.